and welcome to Science From Home. I'm Molly, I'll be your host for today. I'm also a librarian with Spokane County Library District. So for today's experiment, we are going to make lemon fizz. For this experiment, you will need a lemon, baking soda, food coloring, but that's for fun, so if you don't have any, that's okay. A spoon, you might need some adult help to cut the lemon, lemon, which is why I have a knife, and you also need dish soap. And then I have a second lemon just in case something goes wrong with my first. So the first thing we need to do is core our lemon. Not entirely sure how to do that if I'm being honest, but I think I just need to cut out this top part. You want the opening to be relatively big. I think that worked. Um, then we want to get the juices going. So I'm going to roll mine a little bit, but as much as possible, you want the juice to stay inside the lemon. So you don't want to, um, as you, if you roll your lemon, you don't want all the juice to spill out. That's also why you have a spoon. So you can start just like breaking up the inside of the lemon um, to get all those juices going. We want all of the juices. Um, once you've got the juices going in your lemon, you want to add a drop or two of food coloring. I'm gonna see how blue works. And then you wanna add a generous drop of dish soap. Oh, that was kind of a lot. I think I added too much. And finally, we are going to add some baking soda. So at this point, it should start fizzing. And you can continue to poke your lemon and squeeze your lemon to get more juices to come out. Um, you can still see it going. At this point, you can also add another spoonful of baking soda, see if that helps. Uh, if you have lemon juice in your refrigerator for cooking, you could add a drop of that. So that's pretty cool. Um, you could have a lot of fun with this for a long time. I like this experiment because I think it does a nice job simulating a small scale volcanic eruption. This is not quite like what happened with Mount St. Helens or Pompeii, but it still demonstrates some of the properties. For instance, the bubbles inside the lemon can represent magma. And that is what we call molten rock when it is trapped underground. But if it reaches the surface of the earth and then continues to keep flowing, then scientists call it lava. We distinguish between the two, magma versus lava. So you can see that pretty clearly. I've got magma in there. It's bubbling up, it's bubbling up. Oh, when it drips down the side, that would be lava. So I am definitely not an expert on volcanoes. <clears throat> there is a lot to learn about them. Uh, but if you enjoyed this experiment and you want to learn more, the library has lots of resources online and in our branches in books if you want to find out more. I uh, hope you enjoyed today's episode of Science From Home. We will see you next time.